Welcome guys to episode 429 of Minecraft and I'm using the Extra Biomes mod. Now uh, what this mod does is implements 28 different biomes. Now uh, this is a rather huge mod. Now uh, I was very surprised at the uh, sheer quality of this mod. This mod is quite epic and I'm in the river Redwood actually, Redwood um, biome. If you press F3 you can see the biome um, name which I do like that feature, um, the Red wood forest and uh, let's go travel and uh, explore some different biomes there are a lot of biomes and uh, they are pretty damn awesome okay so this is the alpine biome now uh, it's covered with stone rocky it's like sort of like a rocky tree snow thing like the alpines do look like and uh, it's a really nice biome actually one of my favorite biomes i think the redwood Forest is probably my favorite biome because um, I, I like those types of trees but uh, let's explore some different types of biomes. This sunset and the trees definitely reminds me of the Twilight Forest mod and uh, over here we have a glacier biome. Now uh, what this is is uh, implements snow blocks and also ice blocks into a mountainous region. It's uh, really rugged. Now uh, what we're traveling over here is an ice wasteland. All it is is a uh, mountainous ice and uh, it is pretty cool. Now, now uh, we're going to go over here to a snowy, um, snowy Alps mountain range sort of biome over here. And uh, wait, we need to press this. And we see that it's a snowy temperate rainforest. So uh, you can definitely see how awesome these mod. If you go down here, it uses the four block trunks and big white cows. This mod is truly amazing. Now uh, all the mobs um, spawn in different types of biomes. So you'd find sheep um, naturally spawning here, um, but you won't see any cows or something spawning in a river, not a river, a uh, forest like this. They'd spawn on um, lowland flat pastures or something along along the lines of that. This is a scarecrow. Now in future updates, um, the mod creator states that uh, it will add an extra use for this scarecrow. Maybe it can scare away mo uh, mobs um, from your house or something like that. But uh, from this, it does nothing but stay and spin around. You can actually push them across and it moves across the blocks. Now uh, in the forum post, um, the mod creator actually got um, the recipe of creating this mod um, mixed up. He placed the melon um, on top, which I didn't make real too many sense. And uh, this is what I was getting. I was getting a blank screen. So uh, what I did is I switched this around and uh, that's how you craft the scarecrow. Now uh, you guys are probably saying, wow, but uh, these are pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's spawn a lot of these. Now this is what they call an extreme jungle. It is uh, very mountainous and uh, is condensed with a lot of trees and shrubs and uh, that sheep just randomly spawned in. I saw that now out of the corner of my eyes, but uh, it looks really amazing. Whoa. Okay. The sheep, sheep doing 360s. Yep. You, you happy there, buddy? Nope. Let me hit you. Now, uh, I rate this mod a 10 out of 10 Fruit Loops. So this mod, um, the only thing I dislike about this is uh, probably more of a Minecraft thing other than the mod is that the biomes take a lot longer to load because of their more, um, there's more things to load, such as more trees, more, um, more snow, more objects to load, more chunks. So uh, in that regard, it's sort of like not an issue, but it sort of is it's kind of annoying. If, even if you have a good computer like I do, um, it is kind of hard to load and you can see that I'm playing on far, everything maxed out, and it's still loading all right. And we we found a nice little village over here, didn't we? Where 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 can I do? I need a the the So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, have a nice day.